All right, cool. cool. So, my name's Ty. I sit at the table and talk uh, to people about what they really believe, what the strong beliefs are, they how they reach them, okay. and then basically right, what convinced them that they were true. Um, got my card. And I'm happy to talk about whatever you believe to be true and why you got there. Got that is a terrible wallet. Oh my god. I've had it since high school. <laughs> you can buy another one. I know, but there's other things I could buy. <laughs> Not if your money falls out of that wallet. All right. Anyway, anyway. I'm Ty, nice to meet you. Michael. Michael, Michael. I had a marker to write on the marker board, but the ink died on me last night. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know, it's a sign of heaven, right? Michael? What do you believe to be true? Or what's the thing that you believe are most certain about? This is something that you most certain Well, I guess the one thing I haven't gotten to talk about yet today is morality. Okay. I think morality is absolutely independent of any god or religion. You're absolutely certain that morality is absolutely independent of any god or religion? Yes. Religion is not required. How confident are you from the scale from 0 to 100 that that's the case? 98. 98? Okay, okay. What got you so take, high? Well, it's just, so I've I've been talking about morality as a former Christian. I've been talking about morality ever since I started questioning things. It's probably been, been the, the thing I've talked about most. Okay. Uh, I've read a lot of books on the subject, different philosophies, different ideologies, uh, I, and I am absolutely convinced that there is nothing about morality that requires a, some sort of morality giver. Okay, I think a good way of probably demonstrating that is if you have a morality system that does not have a religious Which I absolutely reference. think I do. Could you mind telling me about so that? So, I believe the morality it just involves it's the actions... Okay. Morality is just the actions between individuals that affects the well-beings of those individuals. I like that you use the word well-being. I what I think by well-being we're agreeing like life is more preferable than death, sure. health is better than sickness. You, you okay. can start with those very basic facts. Yes. Talking to my keys. You start with very basic facts about reality. And uh, these, these, you're talking right up exactly what I would say. Yeah, so you you could talk about this be short start time. with very bis basic facts about reality. Yeah. Like I said, life is generally preferable to death. Yeah. There are exceptions to these things. Pain is or pleasure is more pre preferable than pain. Yeah. There are exceptions, but you can start with basic facts of reality and move from those basic facts. Hmm. To discover what is immoral in any given situation. And the cool thing is if you're wrong and you come up with a wrong rule, you can always reassess that and change that. Yes, because law. there's no there's no overarching lawgiver. This this is what has to be the case. It's a self correcting it's system. It's a self correcting system and it has the system has in it the goal of getting better at getting better. Why is your rule any better than someone who has a list of rules that's from a ultimate authority, ultimate source? All because possibly? because the religious, like that kind of authority, where there's just a morality handed down, isn't a system. It can't improve. Right. It's it's a dictation. Mm. It can't possibly improve. Right. I agree. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna give Why is your wallet so raggedy, man? Um. Listen, be, listen, 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 listen. What, listen, what should we talk listen, about? Listen, 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 okay. listen, listen, listen. You can have a backup wallet. Just. You can buy a backup. You wallet. can frame that one. That. You can frame that one of like, hey, sentimental value. Oh, how old are you? Are you even? I'm 29. So you're you're well out of high school. Yes, sir. You can get rid of that thing, dude. So put my girlfriend was gonna buy me a wall for my, my birthday, and I yeah. just never. She just never took. I just never went to go get it. Have you seen what you can do with duct tape and making wallets? I'm just not like gonna make a duct tape wallet. Dude, you can totally make a duct tape wallet. It's better than the wallet you got right now. You know that for. That might actually be true. Okay. Okay. Michael. All right, it's good to talk to you. Maybe we can talk about something we disagree with. <laughs> yeah, that was a quick disagree. Good luck. I tried to talk to him about free will. More or less, it's just like, uh, what, what do you sense. think about free will? Uh, we had working definite different working definitions of it, but as soon as we explained what we meant by free will in each work capacity, so, we're like, yeah, that doesn't exist. So, yes, that could exist. Maybe so somewhere between. For me, oh, you want to go down. back to it? Oh, I'm just gonna say this real quick, and maybe right. we'll bring. We still got up. time in the hourglass or All five right. minute glass. Maybe we'll also bring something up. So for me, so there, there can be two situations, right? You can get up out of that chair and walk away. Or I can be dragged. Or out. someone can take you. This is the thing I was telling I you. Or someone yeah. can come. This guy that, says that that no. doesn't exist. Or, no, no, no. Or, no, no, no. We agree that, that that is different. The difference between those situations is everything I think is worth calling free will. Yes. That's free will for me. That is free will. That's how I define free will. He has a different definition, yeah. which is something that I would yeah, agree doesn't exist. Sure. It's fine. It's not going to hurt you. We're outside. I'll get him. Uh, the bug saying, hey, there's a human in my grass. In my I home. know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but 
his definite and let me know if it's yeah, fair. Let's hear it. Yeah. Is um, and let me know because I'd like to know if we got we got a long drive back, so I won't mess this yeah. up. Uh, you can't make a decision that isn't based on something or some influence that you've had in the past. Thereby, every decision you have is not freely autonomously made. It is based on something that you've had. It is predicated on previous experiences, previous knowledge. You cannot come up with a random number. Sure. Okay. But the number you give me is going to be not your choice. Yeah. It's just and even then, we can look at your brain and see it weighing options. Yeah. So to think I subscribe to what's called compatibilism, okay. yeah. which is the idea that free will is not incompatible with determinism. Right. And I disagree. But I just I don't see any evidence for that because he's defining free will as something. Well, else. That, that, that's that's what, what I said. The, the the scenario I set up is that's the only thing that I could think of that's worth right. calling free will. Anything but, else like this libertarian free will, where I could do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. That and, doesn't exist. And my argument with Eric that we think we both came to terms with is we can both agree to call something free will, but it may not actually be free will. Sure. And if that's the case, then yes, that thing that you that you brought up and that I heard you and I understood, we can both agree that that doesn't exist, but that may not necessarily be free will. And, right, I, and, yeah. I, and the, the reason I'm here, to lot, heard a lot of people make your same claim, is that it doesn't matter. Like, like why, why should it matter that we're not able to? Because we still have agency. Well, it matters because... Is that motorcycle playing the Avengers theme song? That's so awesome. So the reason we're, we worry about the idea of free will is because we live in a world where we have to worry about uh, holding people accountable for their actions. Right. right. And in order to hold you people accountable... In, in order to hold people accountable for their actions, we have to assign some sort of agency, some sort sure. of acknowledgement that someone made a decision to do this. Right. But knowing if that was something that they could control or it's just part of their bi biology is I think important when we when we decide when we decide on how we punish them and and I'm not I'm never saying that like oh if someone goes kill someone you say you're fine if you didn't mean to do it it was just your biology no we you know we still they're still responsible for it and we still incarcerate them if that's because that will yeah, deter others from doing it I and, mean even if it's completely deterministic then this person is seems to be just inherently inclined to do this sort of thing so we need to keep that person in check well or at least at least i'm um, going to jail might influence them to change their behavior Perhaps that or could happen, it'll yeah. influence other people that that can happen um but i think the real important thing is admitting the truth about it and then studying the science because if we can and did we ever look up who the, the person was we were both thinking of where they the, had been, the a tumor. Patient? Well, no, they had a, a tumor pushing on a part of their brain. Yes, he was a. Oh, uh, like he, he killed a lot of people in a gun I, fight, I, I, and we decided not to look him up we, to give him and, any. And we even uh, said on yeah. camera, just just just, uh, just edit anything. out this part because we, we look like fools and can't think of his name. But but knowing that, and knowing that, hey, um, you could you could prevent some some real damage by, by doing that. Yeah. I think we're getting kicked out. Yeah, we gotta, yeah. We gotta get All out. Right. Okay. Well, that was, that was fun. Thank you. But you're Thanks welcome to set up at the house if you want. Are you coming? I, we got another block party thing that we're going to go into the Lexington. But we appreciate yeah. the end. You got a radio. Too. I do got a <gasps> Yeah. It's 2.30. I'm good. We're good. It's 2.30. I got a radio on the radio. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I can find that out. Uh, these are your sunglasses. Okay. Cool. Water bottle? Random oh, water bottle? Okay. Come on. We're good. Hi, Let's sit. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, wow. <laughs> yes, sir. First thing you that pops up in YouTube when you type in Let's Chat, uh, my vids. That is not true for everybody. It's not true for everybody? I tried it. It doesn't, doesn't work. So it must be your, your his, his My story. cookies? Yeah. Okay, I'll work on that. Let's see. Talk to Paul about that, too. Yeah.